former Prime Minister Imran Khan, currently illegally incarcerated for 263 days, had his cipher case conviction appeal hearing adjourned again for next week. The prosecution has so far struggled to provide any evidence of a crime by Imran Khan and the former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, who were both convicted in sham hasty trials by a kangaroo court in jail. Additionally, Imran Khan and his wife's politically motivated illegal marriage case conviction appeal was adjourned as well as the state prosecutor once again asked for adjournment. Bushra Bibi, Imran Khan's wife, is severely ill after being given chemical-laced food by the jail authorities. The Intercept revealed on Tuesday in an exclusive story that U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer warned Pakistan's ambassador to Washington, Masood Khan, that the safety of illegally imprisoned former Prime Minister Imran Khan was a high priority of the United States. According to the report, the concerns about Imran Khan's life that prompted New York Senator Schumer's call to the Pakistani ambassador, Masood Khan, reflect a growing fear that the military may deal with Khan's stubborn popularity by simply putting an end to his life behind bars. Imran Khan has survived multiple assassination attempts during the current military-backed setup in place now for two years. Imran Khan nominated Major General Faisal Nasir, the controversial Director General of the Internal Wing of Pakistan's powerful intelligence agency, the ISI, of being behind one attempt on his life where he was shot in 2022. A Supreme Court bench once again delayed justice for civilians being tried by Pakistan's military by asking the Chief Justice to reconstitute the bench. Pakistan's constitution explicitly states that civilians cannot be tried in military courts, yet 102 civilians were allowed by an appellate bench of the Supreme Court after an initial bench unanimously declared such trials unconstitutional. The controversial Chief Justice of Pakistan, Justice Qazi Faiz Isa, has refused to be part of this case, with analysts saying he does not want to upset at the powerful military. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, has questioned Pakistan's decision to grant financial rewards to all the officers of the Prime Minister's office and an approval of Rs 24 billion in grants as the country is mired in its worst ever economic crisis. Pakistan's Prime Minister, elected through forged election commission documents, doled out bonuses just days after he assumed office to appease bureaucrats. The bonuses were being paid for by securing a loan from a local bank at a high interest rate, reported the Express Tribune. Pakistan is desperately seeking an IMF program as it owed over $20 billion in debt repayments this year. The sit-in protests by Columbia University students against Israel's genocide of the Palestinians in Gaza has grown tense as officials have threatened to send in the National Guard to end the protests. Besides the protests at Columbia, throughout the country, Gaza solidarity encampments have been set up. These protests are by students calling for universities to cut financial ties to Israel and divest from companies that are enabling its months-long genocide. Yale, New York University and Berkeley are amongst the prominent U.S. universities where protests have taken place where scores have been arrested.